welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the hard drive in an early 2009 20-inch iMac. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged our iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to remove the memory access door using your Phillips screwdriver. Next, attach the two suction cups to the glass panel in the top corners. Then, gently pull back on the panel to detach it from the magnets that hold it in place. We can now lay the iMac on its back. To remove the front bezel, we'll first need to remove 12 Torx T8 screws. Start with these four along the bottom edge of the screen. These are longer than the remaining eight screws. Next, remove these eight around the outer edge of the screen. You can now lift the bezel up from the top so that you may loosen it from the bottom edge. However, don't pull up too far as there's a microphone cable that needs to be detached. Once you've detached the bezel from the iMac, you can disconnect the microphone cable by simply unplugging the connector. Then, set the bezel aside. Next, we need to remove the LCD itself. We'll start by detaching the LVDS connector near the lower right. First, remove the two Torx T6 screws holding it in. Pull up on the black tab to detach it from its socket. Next, we'll need to detach the display temperature sensor cable. Pull it out of its channel along the fan on the left, then detach the connector by pulling it straight up and out of its socket. We can now remove the eight Torx T8 screws holding the display in place. Once these have been removed, you can carefully lift up on the bottom edge of the display to reveal the first pair of inverter board connectors, which you can disconnect by simply pushing down on the locking tab and pulling the connectors apart. Then, you can lift the display further and disconnect the second pair of cables near the top right corner in the same manner. You can now lift the display off and set it aside. You'll see the hard drive near the center of the iMac. To remove the hard drive, first lift up on the left side of the retainer at the top until it comes free. Then, rotate the retainer out of the way. Next, peel off the foam that covers the temperature sensor. Then the bracket that holds the sensor itself in place. Then, move the cable out of the way. If it's taped down, simply detach the tape from the drive itself and set the bundle out of the way. You can now lift the hard drive up and out of its bracket. Then, detach the data and power cables. We can now transfer the mounting hardware over to the new drive. Set your original drive on your work surface with the SATA connectors facing you then do the same with the new drive. Rotate both drives 90 degrees clockwise and transfer the mounting posts from the original drive to the new one. You can also move the anti-static cushion from the original drive to the same place on the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow it to stick. Rotate the drives 180 degrees and do the same thing with the mounting pins on this side. You can now set your original drive aside and install the new one.
Reattach the power and data cables to the drive. Then slide the lower mounting pins on the drive into their appropriate sockets in the iMac. You can then lay the drive flat into the iMac so that the posts at the top fall into their appropriate grooves. Then close the top latch and lock it into place. Place the heat sensor with the flat side down in roughly the same place as on the original drive and use the bracket to hold it in place. Again, there should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Re-adhere the foam pad over the sensor assembly and then set the wire bundle, if any, back into place. You can now set the display back into place starting at the top edge. Plug the two inverter cables into the sockets near the top Then do the same for the pair further down. Lay the display all the way down until it lays flat. If it doesn't, you may need to adjust the position of one or more of the inverter cables so that they sit out of the way. Reattach the display temperature sensor cable by lining up the connectors and sliding them together. Then run the cable along the channel by the fan. Slide the LVDS connector back into its socket and secure it with the two Torx T6 screws. Finally, replace the eight Torx T8 screws that hold the display in place. Reattach the microphone cable on the front bezel to its connector by lining the two connectors up and sliding them together. Then, set the bezel back into place starting at the bottom of the iMac and leaning it back into place making sure the microphone cable lays in its channel. You can now replace the screws that hold the bezel in starting with the four longer screws along the bottom edge of the display. Then, replace the eight shorter ones around the outer edge. You can then set the iMac upright and replace the memory access door. Set the glass panel along the front edge and use a microfiber cloth to make sure there's no dust on the LCD or the backside of the glass. Then, making sure the bottom pin is positioned over its alignment hole, you can lean the front glass back into place. The other pins should align automatically, although you may have to gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the glass is flush. Finally, remove the suction cups and use your microfiber cloth to clean off any marks. You may now plug your iMac back in, hook it back up, and turn it on.